Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently joined by Alicia Bossolino, VP of Analytics and AI at Athena Health. Alicia, such a pleasure to be with you today. So nice to be here. Thanks for having me. Alicia, as a key partner to healthcare organizations, how is your data strategy evolving to optimize both clinical outcomes and operational efficiencies across the care continuum? Yeah, you know, data has always been sort of at the heart of how we've approached problems. It's really was our original differentiator. We we create a claim rules engine to be able to leverage the learnings from any from each of our practices and apply them across the board. So I view it less as a dramatic, you know, change in data strategy, but a continual sort of evolution and iteration and how can we continue harnessing it to do more and to apply it more. We've recently are revamping our reporting for our customers in the application. So as we develop more capabilities in-house, we can put that in their hands as well, enable them to also uh, see learn, make decisions off of data in the same way we do internally. I love that. Thank you for that, Alicia. Your vision is to create a thriving ecosystem that delivers accessible, high quality, and sustainable healthcare for all. How does the AI Data Cloud help your team bring this to life? The AI Data Cloud really actually revolutionized the way I think teams like mine use data at Athena. Historically, data was in the sort of confines of only engineers. had due to access and skill requirements, had access to it. And through the AI Data Cloud, we've really sort of democratized the set of people who, are, who can use data and use it to improve the products and the services that we deliver. And so it has really helped uh, enable broader access, more perspectives, more points of view, uh, and more abilities with what we can do with the data. Alicia, great perspective. Thank you for that. Healthcare requires exceptional attention to data sensitivity in patient privacy. How does the AI Data Cloud enable Athena Health to balance innovation with these critical requirements? Using the AI Data Cloud, we have all our data in one place, and so we can apply common practices and common tools to how people are accessing and using that data. The minimum necessary rule within HIPAA guides sort of everything we do within my team on the analytics side. And we've relied historically on process and policy and individual adherence set. And now we can build it into the way we use data. So for example, as we're building a patient data set, we don't include a, any given patient's social security number, their telephone number, even their name. We just indicate whether we have those uh, or other indications. And so as people are looking at the data, as they're doing their analyses, they're not even being exposed to that data that isn't necessary to that analysis. Great to hear privacy and governance always on the front end. What emerging trends in healthcare data interoperability are shaping the industry? And how is Athena Health positioning itself to lead in this transformation? Federal regulations have really driven a ton of interoperability in the exchange of data, but there's been so much focus on building the pipes and connecting all these sources of data. Very little has been paid to how are providers supposed to handle this? Uh, they are getting overwhelmed and sort of flooded with this onslaught of information. And it's not always useful. Some of it is, but you have to you know, sort through it to try and find it. And that's just one more thing for a physician to do and they're already incredibly busy day. Um, so we're really focused on how do we make that useful? How do we make it clear to them what's new information, what's, a, what's repetitive, what isn't relevant to their practice of care? And so we've introduced a feature called ChartSync, which enables you to look at data that's available about a patient and then select which components of that you bring into your chart and your administration of care and sort of putting that control back in their hands rather than just turning the fire hose on and letting them get flooded with it. Great to hear. So allow them to make better decisions and at the end of the day, improve quality of life and in, in human outcomes. Thank you for that, Alicia. Where will AI make its biggest difference in the healthcare industry in the year ahead? I think we're seeing a cusp, uh, sort of a tipping point of providers being willing to, to try out uh, and use AI in their practices. From the data I've seen, 70% of medical practices don't use AI because it's wow. too complex. It, right. It's too sort of overwhelming and, and the stakes are high. Uh, this isn't a recommendation engine. This isn't something that's gonna draft a poem, right? There, there's real lives right. in the balance. Uh, and so I think the biggest change is providers being willing to, to, to use it. Um, the ambient notes capability we've rolled out recently, so ambient helping providers accelerate their documentation is a huge tipping point. Providers are much more willing uh, now that they've seen the impact of that, to experiment and to see other use cases. Well, Alicia, it's been a pleasure sitting down with you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you soon.